Tom Gentile. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to create a trade. And I'm actually going to be using covered calls for this one because I'm actually building a, um, uh, a report for Stocks and Commodities Magazine. So part of my uh, the building of this article involves going back and back testing. So I'm using dogs of the Dow theory. And what I want to do is show you exactly how I'm creating these trades. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going into uh, across the top if you, if you mouse across the top, you'll see trades. Just click on edit slash create, and I'm just going to come down and hit create a trade. You'll then pop to this window here. What I've done is I put the back test date to the first trading day of 2014, and I've got AT&T all ready to go. So it's just a matter of me being able to go in and, and put in where AT&T, where I want to put it at. And so uh, AT&T's price is trading just around... $34.95. You can see it on the close here. So it's really close to a 35. So I want to create a 35 call option, covered call. So I'm going to go long 100 shares of stock at the market price. And what I want to do is also sell one for every 100 shares of stock. And I'm going to put this at January 2015. There's a reason for that. Um, it, with dogs of the Dow, it's a long term trading strategy. Anyway, now that I've put this together, I'm going to call this dogs of the Dow, okay, 2014. And I'm going to put a T out here for AT&T. Now, uh, I'm going to show you later how I want to put this into a separate folder, but for right now, I'm going to save this. All right, and now I've got the trade in here. And now if I want to create another trade, I'm simply going to go to Edit Create. I'm going to create a new trade. And my new trade, I'm going to actually change the stock to Pfizer, P-F-E, okay? Because Pfizer 2 is also uh, one of the dogs of the Dow, the Flying Five, as I call it. So uh, I'm going to come down here to the bottom. I want to see where the stock closed at on the second. $30.46. Looks like we're going to be selling one January 15, 30 call option. And then I want to buy 100 shares of stock at the market. We're going to go ahead and uh, name that D O T dogs of the Dow, all right, 2014, and PFE for Pfizer. I'm going to save that. Now, at this point, I'm going back up, create a trade. I'm just doing the same thing again, Intel, okay, INTC. And notice I'm still at uh, the 1st of January 2014, so I want to keep that in mind as I'm moving through here. Uh, 2579, so probably closer to 26. So I'll be selling one January 2015, 26 call and buying 100 shares of stock. Save that. Oh, you know what? We got to rename that. So I've got to rename that D O T D. All right, 2014 I N T C. So in case you forget to name it, that's what you do. You rename your trade. You then go then go ahead and hit update, and you move on. All right, uh, let me go ahead and finish the, the last ones out for you. So creating a trade, uh, General Electric is another one that was uh, one that was a dog of the Dow. GE, that was for 2014. We'll change that. And uh, GE is trading right around 27 and a half. Uh, and, and notice the strikes actually come up to the near money strike, which is great for this particular strategy. So I'm going to sell one January 15, 27 and a half call option. All right, again, 100 shares of stock long. We're going to save that. We're going to call it Dogs of the Dow 2014 GE. And we'll save that trade. And then the final of the five, let's see. Uh, I got Intel in there, AT&T, General Electric, Pfizer, and the last one I need is Cisco. So we'll go back to tr create a trade, edit, create. And this is an easy way to do it, guys, if you already know what you want to do. All right, so I've got to change this to Cisco, C-S-C-O. And once again, I'm going to sell one. What is that? That's a 22 call option. And I'm going to go ahead and go along 100 shares of Intel at the market. And last time, one, uh, 2000, oop, dogs of the Dow, 2014. And that is going to be CSCO. And that's really the way that you put these together and just create trades right off the fly. Another way you could do it too, I'm just going to show you real quick, is you can go into the options chains up here on app options. You can pick the strikes. 
If I wanted to look at 2015, I could erase these. And I'm looking at Cisco, and I can go out to Jan 2015, click on Update. That's going to give me all the strikes for 2015, which weren't that many, as you can see for Intel, in the 10% range. 20% uh, of the stock price. Let's see if it, that brings us out any more. And it really gave us one more, but this is it. And then if I wanted to choose a call or a put, I would just stick a 1 in, in the, uh, the trade. Uh, you know, if, let's say I'm interested in the 20 call option. I could go ahead and risk graph that trade. And now it's going to show me a risk graph of the actual trade that I want to do. In this case, I'm just looking at a call, a call option. And the call option shows me a couple things. Shows me where Intel was at the beginning of the year. All right. Uh, shows me where now, where the, the option could, will go on the risk graph. All right. If Intel continues to drop, then we could lose as much as, guess what? $300 or $3 per call option. So there's a $300 cost, $300 risk here. All right. The reward is, is really the upside's unlimited. It's unlimited up to expiration, all right, as far as what you stand to make if Intel rebounds during the year. And then the only other two graphs that you might want to look at, we're going to spend some more time on these in another video, is volatility and how volatility affects your option strategy. All right. So, so that's really it. All right. Creating a trade. It can happen one of two ways. You can click on cre uh, trades and then edit create and actually create the trade yourself. Or if you're not sure what options you want to use, another great way to do it is through options and through option chains. Remember, when you're done creating your trade, always save your trade if you want to come back to it and see how it's doing or if you want to run some sort of, of a performance report within Tom's Trading Tools. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you on the next video.